Alright, so welcome to my video. Today we are going to be discussing the hook detacher, which you use for sensormatic lawn tags, sensormatic ink tags, and uh, I'll walk you through how this hook detacher works and uh, how to use it to remove these different tags. Uh, before we get started, I just want to say that this video is for instructional purposes only. It is for entertainment purposes only. And uh, this channel in no way endorses or condones theft of any sort. Uh, we do not promote illegal activity. We are only giving instruction on how to defeat retail security devices. Information should be free, and that's what we're doing. So, let's get started. This here is the hook detacher. It's, uh, as you can see, very small, easily concealed, very lightweight, weighs next to nothing, and you can easily just put it in your pocket. When I bought mine, when I bought this one here, it was about seven, eight dollars with shipping, and I just looked it up actually a moment ago. If you type in hook detacher into any search engine, you'll find one. Ironically enough, I found the exact same one, the exact same site, uh, seven dollars fifty cents with free shipping. So they're not hard to find not hard to get so let's get started and uh let me show you how this thing works so here we have an article of clothing that you might find in any clothing store with an ink ribbon i'm sorry an ink tag attached so back when i used to work loss prevention I'd find these all over the store. People would break them off. And they are a, they are, they are not, well, not that they're difficult to remove. They're just, uh, it requires a lot of brute force. Um, and I, I would catch people with, uh, a pair of pliers or wrenches or just whatever. They'd use a knife sometimes. And the objective would be to break off this pin right here. So they would work to get a pair of pliers in enough to where they could get at this pin and then literally just pry it off. And it's doable, it's just, it'd make me laugh because it, sometimes I'd find the clothing ripped to pieces where they'd literally just rip a hole in the clothing and then abandon it. Sometimes there'd be blood where they cut themselves. And uh, when I'd see stuff like that, I, I would, I'd laugh because they didn't realize just how easy it is to remove these with just a small, simple, cheap device like this. Um, it's actually what got me started to begin with on how What's an easier way to remove a security device without having to go to all the trouble of using a pair of pliers or... I think I showed you in my last video, uh, wiki videos, a wiki house videos on, well, how do you remove these? All these videos suggest pliers or using a lighter even, or it's, uh, it's pretty ridiculous. Because I guess... It does happen where you might buy an article of clothing and uh, you'll get home and the tags on it and you don't want to destroy the article of clothing of course and then again you don't want to have to go through a lot of trouble to remove this thing which brings us full circle it's just one a one time cheap investment and you can just remove it um, sorry for all the uh, the long diatribe there, but 
let's just get started. Let me show you how to remove this. I just wanted to let, I just wanted to explain why, uh, why it's just so much easier to, uh, just use the hook. What got me motivated, what, what people are doing wrong exactly when it comes to these hooks. They, they're not as imposing as you think, so, and it's just, they're just so simple to remove. So you see right there, I just, I'm not really even paying attention, and, uh, you just get the hook in there fast. You got your article of clothing. You're in a quiet aisle. You just get the hook in there. You're walking with your cart. Walking with your cart. You're browsing. You're not really looking. You're just talking to your friend. You hear the click. Open. Nothing. It's gone. It's done. And the nice thing about using the hook detachers, is you can then take the pin out. And then you got the pin, you got the detacher, you can walk over, you find another article of clothing. And, uh, you don't want to leave evidence, especially if there's LP, loss prevention, asset prevention that might be following you. The last thing you want to do is be leaving tags all over the floor or in pockets, because they're going to be following you. They're going to, if they're suspicious, they're going to be watching. So, there you are, you took off your tag, you got your article of clothing, you just attached it to a new article of clothing, no evidence, no evidence that that article of clothing even existed. So once again, here we are, we have the ink tag, sensormatic, you're going to look for the small little groove on the, on the head, and uh, you're going to stick this in, and you're going to listen for that click. There, when you hear that, then that means it's disengaged, and there you go. It's very simple, very easy. Depending on the tag, you have to understand that stores, stores have hundreds and hundreds of these. Sometimes they're beat up, sometimes they were smashed or they're old, or the point is, sometimes you might have a little trouble getting them off. So it does require a little finesse sometimes. But just, uh, it's just simple. Just in there, listen for the click. And then pull, and it's done. It's off. Um, then you can just remove this pin. Get your tag. Find a new article of clothing. You don't want to leave evidence. And just... Put the ink tag on a new article of clothing, and that's it. The only other one I have to show you is uh, an alarm tag like this. I'm pretty sure the battery on this one's dead, but uh, sometimes you'll find uh, they'll have it looped around maybe uh, an expensive pair of shoes or a purse. So you can look at uh, the loop it through where the laces uh, go through or around the handle of the purse. So you don't want to have to cut. You don't want to destroy the article of clothing or shoe or purse or accessory or whatever. You don't want to destroy it to remove this thing. So um, cutting these is extremely difficult. I've seen people try. They'll come in with the cutters. <laughs> yeah, it's just, uh, people don't know any better. Like, work smarter, not harder. That's the whole point of having your Thieves Toolkit, is just, uh, just make it easier on yourself. Make it difficult for them. And, uh, so here we go. Last time, we're just going to hear, we're going to listen for that click. This one's a little more difficult. Let's see, maybe I got it. Oh, I got it anyways. Let me try that one more time. So this video's gone on a lot longer than it had to. Just, uh, you know, I'm not...
teaching uh, something really complex like lock picking where you gotta f fiddle with the tumblers and stuff like that, have a torsion key and stuff. It's uh, this is all really just basic stuff. It's just it's easy. You just did I get it? First time was a charm, I guess. And with some of these, like I said, some of them are old, and some of them are... They've been blah, they've been used so much that sometimes they are. I've, I, I have had to find an, on another article of clothing or another item because I have not been able to remove the tag. Sometimes you just get unlucky. There it goes. I, it's filled with long enough. So normally the cashier, you'll bring the article clothing up. She'll set it down in a machine. It'll automatically remove it. The whole point of the... The whole point of this thing here is just to, uh... You're not using an electronic machine to remove the tag. You're just doing it manually. Kind of through a back door on the key. But that's it. That's all I got to show you. Uh, these work with the sensormatic alarm tags. They work with the ink tags. Um, in my next video, I'll see if I can obtain some samples. And we'll get into uh, maybe the magnet here to remove uh, the other ink tags. Um, the non sensormatic ink tags are the ones that do not have the hole for this... Uh, hook detacher and they require a magnet and uh, if I can obtain samples I'll make a video with this one here um, if not my next video will be on the S3 key um, which is very simple to use almost as easy as a hook detacher and that's what it's all about ease you want it to be as easy as possible you want to be in and out of the store as fast as possible. You want to look as inconspicuous as possible. Um, God knows you don't want to walk around the store with a pair of pliers or cutters or something ridiculous because that's just a dead giveaway. Um, but the same goes whether it's whether it's uh, this or this. If you are caught. They are considered uh, burglary tools. So, like, what you have to understand about that is uh, it'd go from like a misdemeanor to uh, maybe upwards to petty theft, larceny. There's different, uh, there's different classes of theft, so I don't, that's why I do not condone shoplifting. I don't condone theft. I'm not here to promote it. Um, the repercussions can be real and they can be serious. You can get in a lot of trouble. Um, so I do not advise going into retail stores and committing theft because you can get in a lot of trouble even if it is easy. And that's about it. So well, that's it for today's video. The hook detacher, very, very cheap, very affordable, well worth the initial investment. All right, so that's it for now, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Uh, I'll try to get back. Um, and don't steal, guys. It's not right. That's it for now.